I'm Ethan Moore from Stockholm Supply here with Lady Shaughnessy. Who, uh, well, you're from Florida. No, you're not from Florida. I'm from Maryland. I'm Maryland originally now. from Florida. That's right. Um, a lot of you guys may be familiar with Laney. He has his own YouTube channel with uh, lots of videos on it. But today, we're going to talk about CNC's. Yes. Um, so, Laney, a common question that I'm sure you get, I know I get a lot, is what are the most popular bits? When I get a CNC for the first time, what bits should I get for it? Well, one of the things is I always recommend that a user have at least two V-bits, a 60 degree and a 90 degree V-bit, at least a quarter inch upcut spiral bit, yes. and then two ball nose bits for your 3D finish work. And, and I recommend at least an eighth inch tapered ball nose and yep. a 16th inch tapered ball nose. Okay. Those five bits will do 90% of everything that you want to do. From there, you can grow your tool database to gotcha. however you want. But those five bits, okay. 60, 30 degree, 90, uh, sorry, 60 and 90 degree V-bit, quarter inch spiral bit, yep. up cutter, down cut, doesn't matter. And then your eighth inch and sixteenth gotcha. inch of eight ball nose. So, so the, the V bits start. will be for engraving stuff all you like this or yeah, carving. Absolutely, your V carving. So your V bits can do V carving, not only with pictures and text and everything, but also some nice detail work. Your end mill is gonna be your flat pocketing yep. bit or your profile bit when you're cutting, cutting the part right out. Through, right. It's also used for your 3D rough cutting bit to hog away that waste material. For this kind of stuff. Yeah. Absolutely, and then you have your tapered ball nose bits that do all the detail finish work and everything. So with a combination of those five bits, you can do quite a variety of things. You're only really right. limited by your imagination. From there, your tool database can grow right. as much as you need it to. And what a lot of people don't realize is you can use special form bits to create different types of projects and profiles, such as your roundover bits, your OG bits, your you know uh, dovetail bits, your keyhole bits, and things like that. They don't, they think about just regular bits, but you can really go beyond that depending on what the project is at hand. Awesome. Thanks so much, Lainey. Um, if you guys have any other questions, you can email us at info at stockandsupply.com or comment on the video. Um, and also, Lainey has his own YouTube channel. Make sure you check that out. What's it called? Yeah, Spindle TV. We, Spindle we, TV, yeah. we shoot live uh, streaming videos and we teach the Vetric software, which we use with the digital wood carver, Vetric V-Carve Desktop Pro and Aspire. That's every Tuesday night from 7 to 9 p.m. Thanks, guys.